So this week, Dan O'Dowd took out a full-page color ad in the New York Times for the Dawn Project, making computers safe for humanity. Aw, oh, that makes me feel better. Dan spent like $200,000 or more of his money because he just wants people to be safe. Uh, not so fast. The ad proclaims, don't be a Tesla crash test dummy, and says the Dawn Project is organizing the opposition to Elon Musk's ill-advised full self-driving robot car experiment. Tesla full self-driving must be removed from our roads until it has 1,000 times fewer critical malfunctions. Okay, so who is Dan O'Dowd? Was he like in the IT crowd? No, Dan O'Dowd. No, he's the CEO of Green Hills Software, which, if you do a little sleuthing, turns out has deals with all 12 of the top 12 global tier one auto suppliers and dozens of automotive brands. In fact, they just put out a press release saying that their software will be used in the 2022 BMW iX. Wait, so am I reading this right? Dan's ad says that the Dawn Project is offering $10,000 to the first person who can name another commercial product from a Fortune 500 company that has a critical malfunction every eight minutes. What the hell is he yeah, saying? Yeah, he lists a bunch of misleading and false statements about Tesla's FSD. Info that he gained, by the way, by analyzing many hours of YouTube videos. Okay. Yeah, he admits that he watched 22 videos. That was his research. I've watched more videos than that. So wait, I'm I'm a bigger expert than this. Of course schlub. you are. I mean, has he tried full self-driving himself? Does he know what that's like? Does he know that there hasn't been even one accident by an FSD beta car so far? Now, the most misleading point to me is that Dan O'Dowd doesn't mention in the ad who he really is. He's a competitor to Tesla. Yeah, the ad talks about the Dawn Project. It doesn't say anything about Green Hill software and the fact that Dan O'Dowd has a financial interest in stopping Tesla. Well, no, um, I mean, a financial interest in, in a way. Um, I have no, uh, as you guys say, I have no financial interest in Tesla. I have no short positions, puts, anything like that. My, my entire financial uh, uh, interest in Tesla is I own three of them. I own three Teslas. I own two Roadsters and a Model S. Um, that there, there's no financial interest. If if people say you know financial interest, it, can you say I'm a competitor? I, I help BMW. I help uh, Daimler, uh, all the big companies. Uh, GM. Uh, we supply software for those people to do it, and that gives it uh, uh, information. But actually, I say, if who better to find out the problems in your product than the competitor? They, they look at things, they, they analyze their competitors' products, they try to figure things out. They tell you the things the salesman doesn't want you to know. I, I don't see why, you, if, you say any, if you say this person's a competitor, you shouldn't listen to them. That's just giving the salesman you know, his, his dream. No one will ever hear about anything negative about the product. Yeah. So I, I think it's completely wrong-headed just even to say that. Yeah, I, sure, we're a competitor in that in a moderate way. I don't make cars. I don't make self-driving software. I make software that people who make self-driving software use to do mm -hmm. their job. Why don't you just say that, Dan? I'm a competitor and I wish Tesla would stop competing. Yeah, let's call this what it is. This isn't a guy who woke up one day and said, I care about people's safety, so I'm gonna spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to run an ad in the New York Times to warn people. This is a CEO of a software company that has deals with all the major auto companies and you just heard him say that. They spent money to revamp their website, set up this misleading Dawn project, run ads and attempt a smear campaign because they are desperate. Elon called him out. Holmar said, it's so weird how the most vocal critics of full self-driving always have huge financial interest in a competing solution, Elon. And Elon said, indeed, Green Hill software is a pile of trash. Linux for the win. And Dan O'Dowd replied to this. He says, when Elon Musk is wrong, he always resorts to insults. Remember the pedo guy? FSD is the worst trash software ever shipped by a respectable company. Oh, he just called Tesla respectable company. <laughs> Green Hill software is the operating system for the B1B nuclear Nuclear bombers, weird flex. F-35 fighter jets in the Boeing 787s. Again, weird flex. Now, wait, uh, the same Boeing 787 that had issues with hacking and major electrical failures. Right. And he's proud of that. Hallmars put out a great blog post about this. We'll post the link below. Bottom line, this is what FUD looks like. This is the face of FUD. This is a FUDster caught in the act. This Dawn project is a front for much of Tesla's competition that knows it can't come out with this crap and put their name on it. So what do they do? They fund crap like this to scare people. Not facts, not reality that Tesla's FSD is going to save human lives, just 
FUD. The Dawn Project actually lists Tesla Q websites in their fact-checking document. But you know what? This means we're winning. First, they ignore you. Then they laugh at you. Then they get mad at you, this step. And then you win. Do you think they'd be doing this if Tesla wasn't scaring them? And by the way, all this from a guy who claims on his personal website, dandowd.com, your source for software that never fails and can't be hacked. I mean, seriously, and Elon tweeted out, tragic case of ego over ability is much greater than one. Math burn. First of all, couldn't this Dan O'Dowd guy, like, doesn't he have like a brother-in-law with a different last name? <laughs> doesn't he have any friends who could have been putting out this ad? Like, couldn't he have hit it a little bit better than I... like, I'm just a guy who cares about things and also has a financial interest in screwing Tesla. <laughs> Like, why wouldn't you try to hide it? I think he's kind of like Dwight Schrute in The Office where uh, Jim can convince him to do almost anything. And so BMW and Daimler were like, oh, yeah, Dan, great idea. You go do that Dawn Project thing you've been talking about. I watched 22 videos on YouTube. <laughs> sounds good, Dan. Wow. Oh, Dan, that <laughs> sounds great. Why don't you? Uh, hey, I'll, we'll give you a little bit of money. Why don't you do whatever you're going to do with it? Right. Uh, I think that they probably thought that he was going to go to his brother-in-law. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, Dan. Dan. And look, if you hate Dan as much as we do, hit that like button, let him know. What a dope. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Mondays and in-depths on Fridays. Just click the link down below to head over to the Now You Know channel.